buddies? Well, mostly. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. 93.3 KZOZ FM San Luis Obispo rocks. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Ric Flair in the studio. That was the worst Ric Flair ever. Woo! He was much, he was, no, he had more of a pitch. Woo! What? I can't even do it. You got to get higher. He got, he got paid to have that, though. I, I'm doing it for free. Like, every time he would do the woo, it looked like he was going to, like, his head was going to explode. <laughs> so, it was, you know, I can't do it. It would give me a headache this early in the morning. <sighs> get old. All right. Well, you look the same. You're wearing the same clothes. No, I'm not. Oh, the shirt. The Ric Flair shirt? The flannel. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, this is my coat. Oh, that's a jacket? Yeah, it's my... It's my oh, it's okay. My, is that, not, is that uh, not okay to do? Yeah, only, you look like you're wearing the same clothes because it's a shirt, but you're wearing it as a jacket because it's a heavy flannel shirt. Yeah, I get it. So, so what happens is uh, I wear the flannel as a jacket, and the only time I wear it is in this studio right. because it's freezing in the studio for about two hours. And then about two hours, I'll take it off, Right, and it's the right it's the right heaviness. Uh, I, I, for, I wore this for about two hours yesterday, yeah. and then I took it off, and then I, I I toted it around with me everywhere. You know, it was ninety one here yesterday when I left. What time did I leave here? About two o'clock. A hot day, and uh, it was here kind of late. And yeah, I couldn't believe it. And then I got to, I'm like, oh man, my house is going to be hot. So then I, but then I got to Roy Grande, and it was only seventy six. So I was like, yeah, Marine Layer kicks ass. <laughs> The only time I say that. Uh, it's Friday, uh, so that's good, right? I was just reading a story that there's a, there was an executive who uh, decided to copy European companies and offer a three day uh, three day I'm sorry three day weekends uh, a couple every month. So uh, every month his companies were promised uh, a three day weekend. Mm-hmm. And pro- productivity shot through the roof. I remember this, this was guy. also the guy that said, "I will give you up to two thousand dollars as long as you leave and go somewhere you for your vacation." To go on vacation because he wanted an energized workforce. Yeah, his name is Mark Douglas. The company is Steelhouse, and, and it's, it's an advertising and marketing company. And it's out of business now. And no, they he, productivity's gone through the roof. He says they've gotten more. He says people work harder and they work more efficiently and they're happier because every month they get a three day weekend. Yeah. We have a three day weekend coming up next week. I'm I'm really excited. I, I'm going to go every month out of town, not very far, but you know I'm going to go out of town, and it'll be kind of fun, huh? It's just every month. Well, so here's the deal. It's he only, once a month. He had to add um, to, to add the three day weekend. Let's say it's a Monday, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he had to add. He had to give him five more days off a year. That's it, because there's already so many uh, holiday three day okay. weekends that we have. Got it. Okay. So he only had to add five days. So five typically yeah. paid days off. So. Hold on a second. So he only added three day weekend to the months that did not have three day weekends. In exactly. It. So for instance, this month has a three day weekend. Last month has a three day weekend. Uh, March does not, to my recollection, I, at least. I, I don't I, think I, so. I don't believe. No, March I think does. I think President's Day is the is, okay. the, is it so, for a while. So so in March you get a three day weekend. In April you get a three day weekend. You do, you didn't get one added in May because, because of Memorial Day. Memorial Day. June you did. Fourth July of, you did not. You did not. Okay. I, August I, I, you did I, not. I get where we're going. September you did. August, you did not. What's in August? It gives you a three-day weekend. Nothing. That's so, what I said. So you he did, added one. Yeah, to he, the, that, yeah, he added one to the to the schedule. Okay. Uh, How do I send this in an email to our uh, to our upper management? I mean, that's really that's really not that big Does, of a if, burden. If I sent this email, this story to my boss, our boss, do you think that she they would look at it me as uh, yeah that's, being we, lazy? We, we work in a different business, though. Uh, why, why do you say that? Because we're very Monday through Friday. We are very Monday through Friday. I mean, people wake up and they, they love waking up with us. Yeah, but I mean, there's things that we do when we so, on three day weekends that we if we make so, it happen. So some say, so so some say we play music and we we have good times. Mm-hmm. I mean, we can we can we can fi- we can fake it. <laughs> 
we could fake it and have an extra three day weekend every month. But this should be this should be this is what our government should be doing for us. They should be coming up with plans, not mandating, but coming up with ideas on how to make people in the workforce oh, that drive oh, this country forward you are, more happy. You are giving them far too much credit. Okay, you want our government to the one that's about to shut down to come up with ideas. They did shut down, <laughs> and, they, and then they started back up overnight. I don't know if you heard. Oh. We're good through March twenty third. Okay, yeah, but uh, like you, I mean, they get in their own way. They're not going to be able to be prevent, giving us. I ideas. know. I'm just saying. I, this is something. Thing that they should be doing that they're not doing. No, I know they're the worst. They're not going to either because you know you have to turn that corner of actually being productive yourselves before you can tell out others. Tell others to, this is how you be productive. Anybody acts like this, they get fired from a company, right? I mean, you can't act like this and keep a job in the normal world. But if no. you work for the government and you're an elected God, official, no. I guess you do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, could you imagine if you acted like a bunch of seven-year-old children and at, at playground uh, fighting over toys with no? With no teachers or no uh, recess monitors or whatever the hell they call them, um, it would be, it would be chaos, and that's what happens in Washington D.C. on a daily basis. It has for the last thirty years, and it's such a screwed up system. I wish as 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 a group of Americans, as as the American people, we could just fire them and just start over. And I guess they you know, try. This, this is an electric position, but there's so much special interest money. Somehow these same people just keep getting back in. And it's like the guys that we should be hiring, the younger guys, the ones with ideas, the ones with the fresh micros. ideas, uh, the ones that don't name? have a lot of money. What's this guy's name? Uh, Mark Douglas. Mark Douglas. Yes, Mark Douglas for Congress. You know, Th these are the, the guys the that ones, we should be putting in office. And for some reason, they don't have enough special interest the money. They don't get in. Real life experience. Yeah. But the problem is, Crazy. do the guys with real life experience who can make millions of dollars on the outside want to settle for a job that pays them $150,000 a year where they're scrutinized by the public at every turn? <laughs> no. <laughs> 35 hours a week. This, this, is a, this is a great idea. And so, I don't know if there's, any, uh, if there's any CEOs out there, if there's any owners of small businesses, and you could swing this. I See, uh, the, 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 you could make your, your workers much happier. I, mean, I don't know if you have to do the two thousand dollar, you know, budget to give every employee, you know, a bonus once a year to go on vacation. But no, you have to do that too. That's the one you I should want. be giving bonuses out anyways. Which, which to, is which is which is the one that you want? The, like, if you as an employee, which one would you rather? You can either have the the five three day weekends added, to, uh, so you get a three day weekend a month, or uh, you're going to get two thousand dollars to go on a vacation of a week uh, minimum vacation. Uh, which one? Which one would you rather? Would I rather just have the money or go on vacation no, with the, the money? the money and the vacation or the five three-day weekends added up to the uh, calendar. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, uh, boy, that's a... You can only have one. I would, I would pick the money and the why, why? But he's giving them both. I know. I understand that. But I'm saying, I'm saying you know, let's say, let's say you take it to your employer today. And you and you and say she, and, and, and they're yeah. they're open to the idea. They're like, they say, choose. They say like you know what we can only do one. I'm going to hand you two thousand dollars, or I'm going to give you an extra five days off a year. I've taken the five days. I'm taking the five days. You're this really is the one thing I agree with millennials on. You know, right? <laughs> quit taking everything so serious, man. Let's take it a few extra days off. <laughs> um, but um, so we stripped it down a little bit for our poll question today. We said, okay, well, what is actually feasible for most employers? Probably maybe the five extra days off a year and or maybe the $2,000 uh, bonus. Um, so we just basically uh, broke down the vacation dynamic and split it up into two. And we want to know which one would you rather have? Um, See, Frank writes in, he says that he, you know, he would day trade. But, you know, on his days off, and uh, he makes a joke about uh, a Bitcoin, I think. But you would have five days if you wanted to. You could, yeah, you could find other ways to make money. Like, you're an Uber driver. You could take these five days. Yeah, that's true. You'd be getting paid f to have the day off, and double you'd dip. be getting, yeah, you double dip. Double dip. We and met a guy that works for, a, he has a government job. I'm not going to say what he does because I, I, I don't know if, you know, this could get him in trouble or anything like that. But he's worked the government job for so long that what he does is he um, he's learned the ropes of that government job and that government job that he has he 
has banked up so much vacation time because he's worked there for like 30 years. So he decided to, and they, and they mandate that he takes the vacation because he has banked up so much vacation time right. that they're like, you have to use this or you lose this. So what he did, he's like, okay, well, I'm pretty good at my job. What I'll do is I'll structure some kind of consulting firm and I'll go consult other government agencies around the, uh, the United States that are doing what I'm doing. And on my paid days off, on my they're paid making days off. me take. So he gets paid by the government for his vacation days, and then by somebody else's government, some other city municipality that needs help uh, building up their infrastructure for what it is he does. Yeah, and and he gets paid by them as well. I have a friend, not the same person you're talking about, uh, but that is a government employer as well. It's thirty hours of vacation a month. Yeah, that's now insane. he's he's been there for you know a while. But I mean, you know, we've maxed out on ours, and it's nowhere near thirty. I'll tell you that much. It's not terrible, but it's nowhere near thirty. And I was just thinking, well, our government is already doing this for their employees, states and uh, mm -hmm. county employees, or they're already getting. I mean, thirty hours. I mean, that's crazy. So. I mean, I don't but know why we couldn't I, see this in the private sector. Because it's happening in the government sector, and is it being success? Are they widely successful and efficient? The government? That are sounds they? pretty good to me. <laughs> From an employee standpoint, but as somebody who pays them to do our job, to do their job, I'm not happy. Okay, I pay those taxes. I don't think I'm getting my return on my investment for what the government provides to me based on um, what I give them for taxes. Well, I don't think that's the individual uh, government entities. I think that's the overall big picture entity that you're speaking of, mm -hmm. right? I mean, when we talk about the, the House, the Senate, Congress, things like oh, that. Oh, dude, as a taxpayer? But th that works the person the I know is not a congressman or a senator. The person I know lives and works here uh, for a government agency. But still, it's... It, 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 to me, as, as okay, as somebody who pays that person's salary, you're cool with them getting thirty hours of vacation a a, a month? Yeah, I'm not. When I'm, you, I'm okay with it. When you don't get thirty hours of vacation a month? Well, I should, but you know that I'm not going to punish that person because of my situation. I understand. I didn't have to choose to be in my but situation. But it's a bitter pill. I could have chosen to be Absolutely. in their situation. But it's a bitter pill to swallow. Therefore, you're like. Mm. When you're hearing about these government employees that got these great wages and these that's why if government hours, uh, gives uh, private and small business an initiative to do this for their employees, a tax break of some sort of whatever, then, you know, somewhere in that structure, then there you go. But they don't get it unless they allow their employees to take uh, five extra vacations. Very years. liberal stance for you. Is that liberal? Yes. Is that liberal? Oh, I just feel that's our government working for government us. Government subsidizing business? <laughs> that's not liberal? No, for the, for, the, uh, for the benefit of the employee so they don't burn out. People are burned out, man. Which would you rather have as a work perk? Five extra paid days off a year or a guaranteed $2,000 annual bonus right now? Annual bonus is leading the way by nine percentage points, okay? 54 to 45. That more people would rather have the guaranteed $2,000 annual bonus than five extra paid days off a year. Now, a lot of people making very good points on this uh, poll question as it is laid out on uh, social media. I saw one person say, hey, listen, time is money. I can make more money with that time that I have off and still get paid. So then I can make more than $2,000. Double $2, dip. $2, Double dip. So I, I'm going to go for the time off. Um, the very, very, uh, people are really thinking outside the box on this one. And it's, uh, it's comforting to know that people are using their noggins on that. Um, we were also asking the question, what is, because where, where this even stems from is this dude gave his employees a $2,000 bonus to take a vacation. And, um, and the, the whole thing was he wants them to be energized and not have to feel like they're married to the job so they can feel like they are creative and be loyal. To, to not, when you're stressed not, not out. going somewhere else and right. looking for a competitor. When you're stressed out and overworked, I mean, it's just you're not happy. You're not in a good place. You're not going to be productive. Your mind isn't going to be thinking the way it should. Uh, so, you know, that's uh, it's, it's nice to be able to either get some time off 
or what I loved about what this CEO was doing with his marketing company, and he started last year, and now that a year's gone by, the, he said their productivity's gone way up, they're doing better business, everybody's happier. He's not uh, out of business. Is, you know, that uh, he's giving them a $2,000 bonus, but they have to actually leave and go on vacation with it. He wants them to be able to take a vacation and not, like, kill their savings. So uh, I like that as well. The one thing you have to remember in this poll question, though, and it's very close, when you get a $2,000 bonus, that's going to go in your paycheck, and uh, the, the government's going to take a, a nice percentage of that. So, so. the government would like you to uh, take the $2,000 bonus and let the days off. But, uh, I mean, your, your paid days off also get taxed as well. But they're just regular days. Yeah. I mean, it's nothing outside the normal. So. Uh, now, we are also asking you, as a result of this, I mean, that's a pretty cool thing that that guy did for his employees, like the, probably the coolest thing. So we're asking you this morning, what is the coolest thing an employer has ever done for you, and uh, did it make you remain loyal to the job? Do you still work for them? Um, Amy writes in, she gets 25 hours of vacation time a month. That's great. That's great. Yeah. A month. A month. No, I know. We were talking about my friend. I don't know if she works for the state or not. He works for the state and he, uh, he gets 30 hours a month, but he's been there a long time. He's, I think that's what you max out at, but 25 hours a month. That's crazy. I think we get about 10. We do? And that's our max. That's We're a maxed out of 10. I would love to revisit this conversation. <laughs> Especially I since people imagine. are getting 25, 30. I mean, you know, 10 seems, you know, maybe we get it up to 20. I'd be right. taking uh, days off here and there if that was the case. I mean, I kind of already do. You get this, we get the same vacation. We started at the same time. We're on the, you know what I mean? It's, a, it's, a, it's not a seniority plan, but I mean, the longer you've been here, yeah. the more you get. But then you hit a cap. And, uh, yeah, so My God. pretty good, huh? That's insane. 25 hours of vacation time a month. Uh, she says, yeah, she, she is, she's loyal as a result of, uh, of I, You know, and, and let me just be fair because, you know, uh, I've had some issues that have happened since while well, I've worked for this company. My brother was hit and killed. This company was very gracious, paid me the entire time I was yeah. gone, didn't take it out of my sick pay, didn't take it out of my vacation pay, which I was pl thinking they would. So I, I, I want to give this place kudos. Yeah, they only give us 10 hours a month of vacation when you're a senior employee, but you, uh, they have taken care of me with Look my right brother. Right. And when my dad got in an accident and I had to go back, they actually were, they took it out of my sick time because I was taking care of him. So, you know, I didn't have to go without pay or use my vacation. As far as radio day. companies go, this is a great company. Yeah. I, I just want to get that out. Most other radio companies not overdo are, it. are junk, okay? <laughs> But this radio company, this is a good. This is a good radio company. This is part of the reason why we're here is because and probably our, be the our best. options. Our options are. We look at them. We're like, well, I don't know yeah. if I want to work for those guys. It might be the best radio company in the world if they gave us twenty five <laughs> to thirty hours a month of big morning. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on ninety three point three KZOZ.